sometimes I feel like we're halfway serious with ourselves or we don't take ourselves seriously. Not in the sense that we don't understand who we are. We don't understand that, you know, we're real people and we have real things to do, real responsibilities and such. But in terms of how we feel about things and what we want to necessarily achieve in this world, I feel like we don't take ourselves seriously enough. You know, I made a video about um, taking responsibility for yourself, and I feel like it kind of works in the same light. In the same way that we have to take responsibility and accountability for our actions, we also have to take ourselves seriously enough to realize that our actions do tend towards something, and they have value and substance regardless of you know, what some external factor may think. And saying, take yourself seriously, I mean, you know, take that jump. You know, he who jumps owes no explanation to those who sit and watch. And not to say that you know, nobody knows your internal workings but you. Nobody's going to know what you're going through. Nobody's going to know how you see things, how you perceive things, your opinion, unless you share it, but you. And that's also to say you're the only one who can live out your life. But why not take yourself seriously? And in saying take yourself seriously, I don't mean hold yourself to a crazy high standard to the point where you're essentially uncomfortable but give yourself grace while also pushing yourself forward take yourself seriously in the sense that if you want something you actually want to do it and you're actually actively pursuing it 100 percent, give 100 percent to that something actually try actually give yourself to whatever you want to achieve sometimes you have to give yourself to it before it can give itself to you and in saying that, I mean that our passion, our, our, our dreams, our aspirations, some, some will get mixed up in our inability to act, our inability to take what we like or what we desire seriously. In the sense that maybe we feel like it's unattainable or maybe we feel like it's not for us in a specific moment. And I've talked about this in, in recent videos, but I feel like there is no past self to overcome and there is no future self to, to achieve. Who you are now is enough and who you are going to be essentially can already be now. You know, I feel like it's really just the dichotomy of our perceptions, how we distance our future self from ourselves, or distance the perception of where we can go from our current self. And I'm realizing that it's no different. So in saying take yourself seriously, I mean, realize that you have just as much potential, just as much power and influence to do what you want right now at this moment. It's not about waiting for the right time. It's about making yourself the right person to seize the opportunity whenever it arrives. It could be today, tomorrow. It could be any moment. But it's not about the moment. It's about being able to take advantage of the moment, being able to be present within the moment enough to seize your opportunity and seize what you want to achieve. And which is another thing I kind of wanted to talk about. Um, living in the moment rather than for it. I feel like a lot of us live for the moment. You know, we, we live for uh, not necessarily satisfaction, but we disregard the power of the present moment to the point where we're only present during maybe certain moments. And that's what I mean, living for the moment. You know, we wait until something shows us our value rather than valuing ourselves at the very moment. And I feel like it's important to value yourself in the moment where you are now. And saying, take yourself seriously, like, take your own opinion of yourself seriously as well. And if it's not good, make it good. You kind of have to be there for yourself. You're the only person that knows you. 99% of who you are is an internal thing. The rest, the 1% is external. That's what you interact with. That's what people just see. But how you feel about yourself is going to be shown in the world. A lot of things are just projections of, of how we feel about ourselves. So in saying that, I mean, you have to really get on top of that. Focus on how you feel about yourself, you know, before you focus on how you feel about everything else. I feel like once you get a solid foundation with how you feel, if you have enough self-love, self-appreciation for yourself, you'll start to love and appreciate everything around you. I feel like that's one of the most beautiful things you, you can experience, just being a human. Learning to appreciate everything around you, learning to, to love the things you see, you know, but separately. Realizing when things aren't a part of yourself, but still being able to appreciate it if it's not you. I feel like that's the true beauty of like 
interaction and being in the social the social space like right now there's a lot of stuff that i feel like i don't necessarily do but i can appreciate you know but it makes me appreciate what i can do more it takes more serious what i do you know like not in a sense of like i'm like super prideful about it or uh if someone was to talk about it, i'd be like flaunting it or something like that but in a sense that i'm gonna make sure i feel good about what i do i'm gonna make sure i feel good about myself take myself seriously enough to take care of myself take myself seriously enough to to care about what i care about care about how i feel about certain things to the point where i know no matter the situation no matter what happens i know i got my back you know, finding a best friend within yourself will allow you to to cultivate your relationships even better. I feel like the more I've been able to understand myself, the more I've been able to give other people grace. Because I feel like a lot of a lot of times we either put people on a pedestal or we try to, uh, I don't know, feel like we're above them sometimes. And in putting people on a pedestal, I feel like we fail to realize that everybody's human. Everyone has a complex life they live in. Everybody endures pretty much the same random set of problems we're in the same environment they everybody deals with some of the same stuff you know in, in saying that 99 percent of you is internal that's why you can't see it but everyone's going through something everybody's got something and once you realize that you realize that you know there's no point in focusing on what other people got going on as long as you realize that you have your own stuff going on and i'm not saying be selfish i'm not saying don't acknowledge when other people have stuff going on I'm saying don't disregard yourself. I'm not saying put it. I'm not saying put yourself above everyone, but treat yourself like you are somebody. Like you are someone you have to take care of. You know, I feel like you should give that attention to yourself. You should take yourself seriously enough to care for yourself and to give yourself grace. But also push yourself when you need to. Like for example, right after I made this video, I got a uh, finish the SAMR and I also got to do a little group case case study but you know I'm up and I'm doing it I mean I can pat myself on the back for that one I said this in an interview once do a push up pat yourself on the back that's the type of appreciation you have to give yourself sometimes it's not always easy to just live your life day to day and you don't always have to do grand things to be appreciative of what you do sometimes waking up in the morning and getting up on time or Getting up in general is enough. No. It's about that love you give yourself when you're not necessarily getting love elsewhere. When nothing else is showing you, you know, reasons to love yourself, giving yourself reasons to love yourself. Being there for yourself and taking yourself seriously, even when no one else will. Because if you don't take yourself seriously, how do you expect other people to? If you don't love yourself adequately, how can you expect other people to? It's about being in that moment, being there for you. you know, I feel like a lot of our life's issues and, and stuff slip away and, and are partially caused by our inability to be present with ourselves. Like we can't be in the moment enough to realize when stuff is going to uh, harm us or when things are not necessarily integral to our character or do not serve us. So we embark on those journeys regardless and, and then come to realize it days later or in some sort of reflection of the past that maybe that wasn't for us maybe that wasn't a good idea and that's okay i feel like stuff like that's inherent to being human but at the same time you know it would pose us more of a benefit to be present with ourselves to take ourselves seriously and, and really be someone that you know we can look up to while being at the same time like be happy that you are you who we are is, I feel like, beyond comparison. You're so much of an individual. I feel like everyone's so much of an individual. Like, nobody can be compared in, in many ways, in many respects, in terms of our, our character and who we are. <laughs> if you don't feel like you're a good person, you can always be better. I feel like you always have time to change. You always have time to, to do everything. And if you don't have time and you're not here, then you're not here for it. But while you have time, while you take up space... You might as well use it. You might as well do everything you can. Take yourself seriously enough to go chase your dreams. Go do what you want with, with your life, essentially. I mean, of course, take care of your responsibilities, but take care of yourself. 
take care of your passion take care of your, your goals take care of what you want to do not don't just take care of, of, of other people's work or you know other people of course take care of them but take yourself seriously too you know just as much love and affection as you want to spread in the world you probably need to give to yourself first just as much as you want to receive from the world or from other people you'll probably have to give to yourself first in establishing that comfortable foundation within yourself, I feel like it gives us ample opportunity to give it to other people and experience, I don't know, more depth to our relationships, more depth to life. Instead of looking at life just as like this shallow surface thing, like I wake up, I do this, I do this, I go to bed. Make it more intimate. You know, make life personal. Make life not necessarily serious, but intentional mm. let me in the kitchen am i cooking hey chat just let me know if i'm cooking in the comments be honest but um yeah it's about intention you know if you want to feel a certain way what are the steps you need to take to get there if you don't know i would, I would say start with feeling start with not necessarily chasing the feeling, but feeling the feeling already. Imagine how you would feel if you if you found it. And it'll I feel like in some ways it'll lead you to where you where you want to go. Um if I don't even know I don't even want to close out right now. Cause I feel like I haven't really got to the point I want to get to. And taking yourself seriously. You know, realizing that you are a person. A person who who deserves respect, appreciation, and love. And the one person that you need it from, the one person that I feel like you deserve it from the most is yourself. I mean, how intimate is that? How how lovely is that to be the person who knows pretty much everything about you, all your flaws, your insecurities, all the good things, the bad things, and still being able to love you? I feel like that's the most wholesome kind of love you could ever experience, at least in, in, in some sort of self-sense. I don't know. I don't really know how it gets when you... Uh, embarking that journey with someone else like to that extent but um, in general like the depth of love you can feel your, for yourself I feel like you can spread to others it's about looking yourself in the mirror regardless of what you see regardless of what it is and, and knowing that you love it knowing that like you taking that seriously oh yeah you know I mess with that guy right now he's that's that's what I'm taking care of that's what I'm doing like I'm not necessarily saying like play a role, but be present with yourself enough to enough to be you and not be the circumstance. Like don't be painted by your environment. Don't be painted by your, your situation. Be painted by the, the quality of your character and, and who you aim to be. And if you made this far in the video, thank y'all so much. I can't say thank y'all enough. I really can't. Like the amount of support I've been getting astronomical it's actually a beautiful thing to see um i'm gonna keep posting these vids consistently this is coming up i think this is gonna be posted like four tomorrow and i'm probably going i'm gonna try to put two more episodes of uh of this onto spotify so you guys can start listening on there too what else what else what else but yeah um there's more on the way. You made it this far. Thank you again. Be intentional today. Try to get what you need to done. If you're on spring break, enjoy your spring break, man. Make sure y'all staying healthy and such. I'm staying healthy. Um, yeah. But most importantly, just treat yourself like someone you're trying to help. <laughs>